guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we're going to be doing a beer review on Great Divide's Claymore Scotch Ale. So like I said, we're going to be doing a beer review of Great Divide's Claymore Scotch Ale. This beer comes in at a 7.7 .7 ABV, a 21 IBU. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.77. Great Divide Brewing is located in Denver, Colorado. Mm, sweet malt, very dark malt aroma, almost like you know if you're home brewing you get that boiling malt flavor. A little, little bit of toffee actually, uh, just just dark. Can't see it. Brown. Just see a little bit of light at the bottom. That's about it. Great, nice, creamy head to it. Very thin though. Very fine. Molasses. Dark malt roast. Dark, deep honey, sweet brown sugars, a little roasty bitterness at the back end. Oh, I really like this. It's good. It has just the right carbonation level too, that it's not super bubbly and, and crisp. No, it just has that quick crisp, and then it dies down. It's fantastic, and then it lets the flavors just come into you. It's really fantastic so far. Really enjoying this. This beer is actually turning out very nice. Uh, it's sweet. It's malty. It's roasty. Actually, that's really more the description of this beer. It's roasty and malty. I wouldn't really call it sweet. Um, you really do taste this dark malt flavor in it and then as it lingers in your throat and your mouth it's roasty. It has this very light chocolatey burnt coffee flavor to it. It's a little darker and roastier in my opinion for most scotch ales. I think scotch ales should be a little bit lighter, kind of more of a deep amber, dark red uh, color, very sweet. This is still a fantastic beer. I did use my beer filmer to add a little bit more of a creamy head to it, which actually really did accent that roastiness. And because it gave it this creamy head, this roastiness became more apparent in the beer, which was a pretty cool thing. So if you do have this beer, try an aggressive pour. Get a big 20 ounce glass or a big pint. Do an aggressive pour so you get that big head on it. Try it, I think you won't be disappointed. So we're coming down to the very end of this beer. I do have to criticize myself. I believe I served this beer too cold to myself, to where the maltiness wasn't coming out, where it was really accenting more of the roasty malts. So my bad. I did try to warm it up. It did start to sweeten up a little bit, but the roasty malt was still there. The creamy head did stay. It's fantastic. Um, you know, so far this beer, it's it's great. I am enjoying it. Is it the greatest scotch ale in the world? No, it's not that great. But it's not that bad. It's actually a great introduction. If someone likes a good stout and a good porter with just the bitteringness, this is a great transition away from that and into a different style of beer. This is a great beer to do that. It's readily available almost year-round so that's a great part about it too 
and the warmer it even gets. Actually, I've had this beer before and the better it gets. So that's a great part about this beer and almost any scotch or wee heavy beer. So the downside of this, I mean, it's, it's almost like, how do I describe this? If this beer was like a movie, this beer would be like The Rock with Sean Connery. They took a great Scottish actor and just Americanized him. Welcome to The Rock. So much of the American craft beer industry in this beer to what the traditional style should be. But it's still a good beer. I would recommend. Cheers, guys. All right, I need to post like a face on this camera because it's 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 looking like I'm at. It feels like I'm looking at one eye of Johnny Five from Short Circuit. This is annoying. Johnny Five is alive. I mean, stay. There we go. I wanted like a dramatic exit. Too many! You guys are dorking up my vibe with all the dicks! You need to spread the dicks out a little bit, create some lady space. Come on, move apart, guys. Spread them out. This isn't the river dance anymore. Over there, now. There's too many dicks on the dance floor. Too many dicks on the dance floor. Too many dicks on the dance floor. Too many dicks. 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 Too